I don't know what's in here, but there's something. See how these limbs are forming? I'm going right over here. As I was doing my spider research, and this is where I'm sitting here, in the sunshine, if you notice, I have my perimeter. Yeah, I can see them. Okay. I got my perimeter marked out here. Okay, notice, I don't go by the wood line like everybody else. I mean, like nobody else wants to do, really. And we're all hip on that. But I prayed before I went underneath this tree. Limbs are not supposed to curl around like they do. And this is like the perfect example. And as I was sitting here, talking about my stupid spiders, I realized this was my kill zone. This is where I found about eight ducks with her, I mean, viciously killed, not torn apart. Specifically, legs torn off, probably one by one, wings torn off one by one, and who knows how much, how long it struggled. This is where it was. And I'm standing right underneath this hell tree. I mean, it's not, it's not the tree's fault. But this is where we're at. This is my kill zone. I must have found eight ducks, and I have it. I have the, the legs torn, and then, and then I found like three heads, and the bottom jaw was torn completely off. And some I never did find the heads, and the necks were always broken. I mean, and not the body undisturbed. Not even a feather plucked out of it. See, when these birds start doing this, I think there's some interdimensional that they caught flying around. Because I, I catch them on my camera all the time. This is, see? God dang, man, I was thinking about some. I was looking, what could be crawling out of the water, you know? But hello, spiders. Getting the ducks while they're asleep and not just eating them, you know? There's no meat taken. Now, I don't care. You talk about, how, oh, those are, hey, don't look at those trees over there. See how they just kind of grow up and then fuzz out? Grow up and fuzz out. Trees never used to do that. 